Hi, we are broadcasting live in sunny San Diego at Distributech. I'm Tracy Deering, Chief Marketing Officer at G Digital Grid Software, and I am joined today with Scott Reese, CEO of G Digital, and Mahesh Siddhakaran, General Manager of Grid Software at G Digital. Thank you both for being here. This is fantastic. Lots of energy here at Distributech, and we have a big announcement that just came out. So I want to ask you first, Scott, What's the big news and why are we so excited? Yeah, thanks everyone for joining. Thanks Tracy for that kickoff and Mesh, it's great to be here with you. You know, I think as you um, uh, walk around Distributech, it's one of my favorite events every year. It's great to be here with everybody in, in San Diego, but as you walk around the event, one thing that everyone can agree to is that the grid, for a variety of reasons, has quickly become the bottleneck for the energy transition. A lot of talk about um, the complexity of bringing renewables onto the grid, uh, combined with the need to bring more renewables onto the grid. A lot of talk about the uh, impact of storms, both the, the frequency of the storms and the tenacity of the storms, um, re really bringing the grid as the bottleneck to the, to the surface. And, that's what we're excited to be uh, announcing here at Distributech in San Diego is GridOS, the world's first orchestration software for tackling a lot of those issues. We believe GridOS is the answer to accelerate the, the future of energy in a lot of ways. There's no way that the energy transition happens at the rate that the world needs it to without software. Grid OS is a huge leap forward in making that software a reality. Mahesh will go into a lot greater detail, um, but uh, it's, a, it's an exciting leap forward for everyone in the utility space. There's a lot of buzz about the launch of Grid OS with everyone here at the show. It's, it's fun to be a part of. Great, thanks Scott. So Mahesh, what does design specifically for grid orchestration mean? So Tracy, thanks for that question. Uh, before I get, get started, I just want to share Scott's excitement uh, about launching Grid OS. I, I think for us inside of Grid Software Business, inside of G Digital, uh, we have the high honor of supporting 30% of the world's distribution utilities and 40% of the world's transmission utilities. We have, we have been doing this for four decades. So what we are doing is bringing all the innovation and experience that we have across the four decades and also delivering projects around the world where energy transition is accelerating. We're trying to bring all of this experience onto one platform. If you look at the grid, uh, the, uh, the way I look at it uh, in a simplistic form is to look at an orchestra, right? So there are two kinds of orchestras you can think about. One is a marching band, large instruments playing in unison, easier to manage. Uh, the grid uh, in the past was similar to that. Now what is happening is grid is becoming more like a symphony orchestra with a multitude of in instruments, large and small. Now this cannot be done uh, by just managing it. It has to be orchestrated with a, with a conductor. And the conductor here is software. And software that is able to do this at scale is going to be extremely critical. So what we are doing now is, is launching the world's first capability uh, called, uh, for grid orchestration called grid OS. In this case, what you're doing is you're trying to bring in three capabilities. A capability to plan, capability to operate the grid, and also capability to transact around the markets onto one common platform. So what happens is the capabilities around GIS, the capabilities around traditional and ADMS, AEMS, DERMS, and also the market's capability come onto one platform. So this gives immense flexibility uh, for utilities as operators. Just to give an example, uh, like Scott mentioned, right? There are a multitude of weather events. Imagine a storm coming and affecting a utility. Now utility is able to plan uh, for a storm, operate in the conditions of a storm, and also create the market mechanism required uh, to facilitate some of the, the energy loss in the transaction function on one common platform. This is an absolute game changer. And we as Grid Software are extremely proud uh, to bring this to market. Thanks, Mahesh. This is a game changer, like you said, just for, for utilities, and I think for us, and as we embark on the energy transition. So Scott, tell me a little bit about why this is such an important focus for GE and our portfolio of energy businesses that are going to come together as GE Vernova. 
Yeah, if you think about what we're trying to do with Vernova, it's really all about bringing the energy to change the world, and that, that goes all across the spectrum from all elements of power generation, be, being from conventional sources or renewable sources, through electrification, then ultimately through um, transmission and, and distribution and, and management of, of that energy. Um, and it's really all of that coming together that's the differentiator for uh, Vernova. And any one piece of that, of course, is interesting, but you bring it all together and it really puts us in the position to execute on our mission in a very differentiated way to really make the energy transition and, and net zero reality for the world. That's great. So the software announcement, it plays in our company's efforts to lead the energy transition. So Mahesh, how would you, how, do you, how, does this, how does it have such that big impact on energy transition? So I, th I think if you look at energy transition, right, energy transition, like, and you've see, heard me say this before, it's, it's one of the world's most important team sport. There is no one entity that can bring and or solve all the challenges that energy transition brings in. So with GridOS, one of the things that we're trying to do is bring an ecosystem of partners, not just uh, an ecosystem of partners around technology, so uh, we have Amazon, uh, AWS, joining us as a technology partner. Uh, we are bringing out an ecosystem of system integrators, the, some of the best in the world, to come and support our customers to increase the, the, the time to value, reduce the time to value uh, for some of the projects, and also bring in the strategic advice and innovation required to be successful. So we've seen us announcing partnership with Accenture and Infosys this week. These are, these are very uh, important and powerful players who are going to team up with us to deliver energy transition at scale uh, to our customers. The other dimension of energy transition is, energy transition requires a lot more software. Uh, the, the software landscape today in the utility is very siloed. You have an EMS system that's separate from an ADMS, which is separate from a DERM. And, and because of this, utilities have, have been traditionally been in a, what I call custom software world, where they have built capabilities, which were very, uh, uh, capabilities built to last. Now what we're doing with Grid, uh, Grid OS is we're creating capabilities built for change. So you're, you're able to embed innovation at the speed of innovation uh, that the market is bringing. And innovation comes from us, the utilities themselves, but also from the entire uh, startup ecosystem. And this is foundationally very, very powerful because with this, I think all of us can feel a lot more confident about delivering uh, a clean electric grid. And Scott, you've had lots of experience with partners. What, what do you think about this announcement of the, the partner ecosystem and, and what that's going to do to really help us accelerate on behalf of our customers? Yeah, for, for me, it's all about scale. The, these partners bring a tremendous scale um, that's really going to help us uh, with the energy transition um, much in a much greater way than we could do on our own, for sure. And you know, I was just standing with one of the, the partners. If you're here at Distribute Tech, I, I really encourage you to come down and, and get a demo at, at the booth of all the different elements of GridOS. But the, the partner and I were standing there talking about outcomes and what outcomes will we drive with GridOS. And the demo I got was of something we call Storm Assist, part of our uh, GridOS solution. And what you'll see there is that we can help our utilities customers through GridOS again, see the weather coming, understand the point of impact of that weather, the tenacity of that uh, weather event, and be able to predict exactly what's going to happen on the physical grid and be able to plan for that. And, and through that, our data shows that customers who use that, they're able to uh, have 18% fewer outages as a result, as well as when they do uh, encounter an outage as a result of that event, they're able to restore 40% faster, right? So 18% fewer outages, 40% faster recovery time. That's what Grid OS and our partner ecosystem is going to enable a much greater part of the world to employ. Yeah, that's, that's powerful. More reliable and more resilient energy networks. Yep. So Maj, how does Grid OS help utilities on their journey through the energy transition today versus tomorrow? What's the future going to hold with this portfolio of software? Uh, so, so Rishi, whenever we look at uh, uh, the, the software portfolio of Grid OS, this is not about today versus tomorrow. This is about continuing a journey that we have started on with our customers for the past few decades and building on that experience and creating a journey for the next few decades. Right? So I, I see this as a continuation of a journey. Our customers had different challenges, now they have new challenges. So the software has, the software portfolio has to support them. 
So what are the challenges that we are, we are trying to solve uh, with, in partnership with our customers and also with our partners? The first challenge we're solving is cybersecurity. So with, with GridOS, we are going to be bringing a zero trust architecture to the utility operational systems. This is going to give a new level of security that the, that the grid systems have not experienced before. And this is also important because these systems are going to move from the campus systems that they were to systems that are essential for orchestrating the grid. How, how are you going to do an electric vehicle charging use case without getting a data of an ADMS? That is not possible today. With the, with the capabilities of zero trust, we can start enabling such use cases essential for energy transition. The second capability we are bringing is the grid data fabric. It's a federated data fabric. So that means all the data that an operational system generates, the EMS, the ADMS, the DERMs, and also the capabilities and markets, this data is now available for utilities to build additional capabilities. So this, this, is, this, is, this is not about creating additional data lakes, but using the data fabric capability to get access to the right data at the right time. Third dimension that we're going to have is if we're going to continue investing on our market leading applications, we have a market leading ADMS, we have a market leading EMS, and we have a leadership position in the DERMS market. We're going to continue our innovation, and with, G, with us becoming G Vernova, this is going to be a foundational software business. And we're going to bring in all the experience from the other G Vernova businesses to build these intelligent applications. And lastly, the future for the industry is going to be hybrid cloud. And we want to enable our software portfolio to work in this environment. We should be working in any uh, customer environment, either it's on the public cloud, on-prem, or on the edge. With Grid OS, we have the capability to, to do that. These four capabilities are foundational uh, for the utility of the future, and we envisage working with the utilities to create the grid of the future. Great, right, thanks, Mahesh. So Scott, um, one, one, one final question maybe. Uh, Mahesh just talked about you know, germs and you know, everything that's connecting to the grid, and that brings in volatility to the grid. And we, don't, we take electricity for granted, quite frankly. We were talking about that earlier. That's right, yeah. So what are your thoughts on this? Because this is a huge impact on what we're able to deliver. Yeah, well this is where I get passionate about um, the energy transition doesn't happen without software. Because when you think about volatility, how do you manage volatility? You scenario plan. And uh, with compute, uh, we bring compute to the, to the point of the problem, right, versus taking the problem um, uh, uh, through some kind of scenario planning process. So um, when we get this data fabric in place, we have all the connectivity, now we can start leveraging AI and ML to um, do scenario planning in a way that we're not just looking at two or three scenarios, which is what us as humans typically have the cycles to do. We're literally looking at all possible outcomes. And in that scenario, now in our scenario planning, we land on the best possible outcome, not just one that happens to work. And that's really where we start to manage the, the volatility and you know, really bring the stability, the resiliency, the reliability, the security um, to the energy sector that uh, we all know that we need uh, much more of. So that's where it gets really exciting, bringing software and compute to the power of the problem, um, really helping to accelerate the future of energy. So we can buy our electric vehicles with confidence and take them home and plug them in and not take down our neighborhood. You got it. You got it. <laughs> All right, Scott Mahesh, thank you so much for joining us here at the news desk at Distributech. If you're here in the show floor at Distributech, please stop by the GE booth. We'd be happy to share with you and show you any of the things that we talked about today about Grid OS. If you're out on the LinkedIn, please uh, pop by our website, um, ge.com slash digital, and learn more about Grid OS and what we're doing to orchestrate a clean energy grid. Thank you for joining. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Thank Mayesh. You. Thank you.